I not long ago bought a moving tail from the tail company. Since everybody has a lot of questions about it and how it works, how to control it, I will be going into that today in this video. When your tail arrives, there is nothing to put together, which was amazing. It is a completely custom tail. I asked for Goru from Genshin Impact and this is what I got and it's perfect. The top is held together with little bits of Velcro, allowing me to very easily pull it back and see the on off button and the charging port should I need better visibility of it. The tail also came with its very own USB type C charger, which is really, really cute. It's got the logo on it and everything. So you don't even need to worry about using your phone charger. I am sure that you all know how to charge things, but you plug it in at one end, plug it in at the other end. And if it is lighting up like so, well, then it's working. <laughs> it comes with the belt harness in order to attach it to yourself and the straps are adjustable and it does go really thin and it does go really big. So it is very size inclusive. It will literally just clip around your waist and you're done. For the sake of showing you how it slots together, I have peeled back the fabric and you just see you pop it in the bigger hole and then slide it down the little dip bit. I don't know how to describe this. It's too phallic for me. <laughs> to remove it, do the same thing in reverse. Literally lift it up and pull it out. To show you its movements today, I'm going to attach it to my mannequin. Um, this is my man mannequin. It is much buffer than me, therefore I need to loosen the straps to make sure that it actually fits and I just hopefully will remember to adjust them small again when I need to wear it, so otherwise it will just, it will fall down. <laughs> Usually I have the tail already attached to me by this point because I'm doing this on my own and it's much easier to see what I'm doing. You can do it this way or, you know, you can have the tail already attached. It's entirely up to you. I'm just gonna smooth out the fur with my fingers. You know that button we found earlier? Now is the time to push it. Ta-da! It is now turned on and looking for your phone. With your phone, you need to make sure that both the Bluetooth and the location is turned on, otherwise the app will not be able to find your tail. We are now going to load up the Crumpet app and press look for gear. When it has found your tail, it will say connect to my tail and boom, you are done. The top right hand corner is the battery life of your tail so that you can keep an eye on it throughout runtime. I guess you'd call it runtime. Before I go into detail on anything else, there is a moves list that I will take you through right now so that you can see the various moves the tail does. These were easily sorted into three categories and it was color coded, which you know is really, really satisfying. We have calm and relaxed, fast and excited and frustrated and tense. If you want to test one of these out or you, you know, you're doing a video and you want a certain movement, you can literally just tap the one you want and it'll go for it. I'm going to let these run for you now and then you can have a really nice look and I will be back to annoy you all with my voice once we have done a run through of this. So as you can see, there is plenty of choice and if you press the little gray circle at the bottom, it will stop whatever it is doing and go back to the resting position. Back on the homepage, you'll see there is also an alarm and move list, but I do not use these enough, so I am not confident enough to show you guys how it works yet. Activating casual mode is probably what you will use the most at a convention setting to get the most out of your tail for a longer time period. In the settings of casual mode, you can choose to select one or multiple of the emotions and it will pick one of these to do um, every so many seconds, whatever you choose to set it with. The sliding bar at the bottom is the time frame in seconds of how long it will take pauses in between picking a mode to go with, I guess. that's I'm not very good at my words. 
Last is my favourite, which is walking. I have these all set to different things. You can change it, as you can see here, to when you stop it will do a certain motion, when you take an even amount of steps it will do a certain motion, and I think it registers based on your phone's movement. In that section of the app, the gear gestures, you will also find that there are many different modes that you can set your phone to use. For example, shake, and if you shake your phone, the tail will then move. If you tap your phone, the tail will do a certain move. I recommend having only one of these selected at one time, as if you tend to do too many, it will confuse the tail, and I tend to just leave mine on walking because I know that works for me, and I don't want it to embarrass me by not working when I need it to, you know? Because <laughs> honestly, that would just be my luck. To answer some of your questions, how loud is it? Well, have a listen. It depends entirely on what speed it's doing. The faster it is, the louder it will be, the further away from it you are. And honestly, I don't even hear it at a convention. As for how heavy it is, I can tell you it uh, is not tipping over my mannequin, even though it's not very got stable footing. It's also quite light, I can lift it with one hand, I wore it at a convention for two days and was absolutely fine. It's... I wouldn't say it was really, really light, but at the same time for what it is, it is so light and I I really enjoy it. I'm weak. I'm, I'm so weak, I can't even do a singular push-up and I can manage to wear this for two days for a convention and be absolutely fine, so I'm sure you guys will be fine with it too. <laughs> if you are having lots of fast motions, it will drain quicker, but I was also told that if you have it on casual every 60 seconds, then it should last about six hours. Sitting in a chair while wearing the tail, I cannot recommend. It is an animatronic tail, it has mechanical parts in there, so unless the chair looks like this, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit in any of the chairs, you know, like this, unless you're gonna maybe sit sideways on and something like this, but you can just detach it to sit down and then when you want to get up and go, you can just slot it back on and that's, that's probably the, the safer thing to do, I'd say. So the tail company where I got it from have a variety of different levels of tail, different complexities and things like that, sizes, and they range in price. But the one that I got and the one we've been talking about today is the My Tail. It was $199 and I think I got the original length. But yeah, you can customize it and go everything like that and they've got all of the information for you on their website. The app is always learning new things as well and they're currently working on developing it for the Apple Watch, I believe. They even provide free patterns so you can make your own tail covers, which is amazing. So if you guys want to check out the tails from the tail company, I will also be doing a giveaway very shortly in the next few days. So please keep an eye out for that. And you might very well win your own My Tail from the tail company. Yay! We love you, I know. I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. So make sure you're following both me and the tail company so you don't miss out on anything new like giveaways. If you have stayed till the end, I reward you with a Guru photo or two. Thank you very much. Please leave a comment and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!